Hello, I'm Lee Shackleford and welcome to Bexley Rec at Home. I'd like to offer you a yoga practice that's intended for beginners. It will include a brief introduction to the sun salutation and some moving with breath and a few skills to align body, breath, and mind for calm focus. If you have a pair of yoga blocks that may come in handy. Also a chair that doesn't swivel, that's sturdy. And a hand towel may be useful for the Shavasana at the end. When the practice concludes, I'll leave you in Shavasana. So allow yourself some time, 10 minutes, to integrate the experience and get the full benefit of the practice. You may want to set an alarm or a timer if you have to be somewhere. So to begin, come to sitting. And if your legs, if your knees are above the plane of your waist, find something, a towel, a book, a yoga block to sit on that elevates the hips so the knees fall comfortably down. And that's to allow the spine to be in its natural curves. And roll the shoulders together in front. You can allow the head to come forward. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears and allow the palms to roll open on the legs. And we begin by bringing awareness inside. So feeling the support of the body under the hips and feet and legs, support of the hands and arms. You can close the eyes or gaze gently down. And just begin to feel the breath as it moves in and around the body. As it enters the body, it moves past the sinuses, back of the throat, into the chest, ribs, belly. It brings energy, opens spaces, and creates movement. As breath is released with exhalation, the belly relaxes, the shoulders relax down away from the ears. And the body finds a parasympathetic healing network. Inhaling, energizing, exhaling, releasing and renewing. Just notice your own breath, this familiar rhythm that is always with you. And if at any time during our practice you become uncomfortable or uneasy, just return to watching and feeling your own natural breath. So to begin our practice, if you wish to join me, we'll move into what's called the box breath where we move all four phases of breath, inhalation, pause, exhalation, pause, so that they're even, and this brings balance to the mind. So to begin, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. We'll do two more. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and pause. Now a box breath in a relaxed state takes about eight to 10 seconds. So three box breaths are a wonderful way to time effective hand washing. So extending the left palm up, we'll begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. 
exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, other side, right palm up, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, Third time, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and finish. Allow the hands to find support. Gaze down and feel a shimmering sensation beneath the skin of the hand on the palms, the backs of the hands, the energy that you create when you provide care for part of the body. Then allow that energy to flow up through the wrists into the arms. And we'll begin moving with breath, inhaling the arms up, pause, and exhale, arms float down as you exhale. Pause. Again, inhaling, arms float up and pause at the top. Exhale, arms float down and pause. And last time, inhale, arms float up and pause and exhale, arms float down and pause. A little side bend, inhale, the left arm comes up, exhale, over to the right, inhale, reach, exhale, release again, inhale up to center, and the left arm comes down, inhale, the right arm comes up, exhale, over to the left, inhale, reach, exhale, and inhale up, exhale down. Both arms together, inhaling up. Look up, see the thumbs, open the throat. Exhale, release the arms to come down. Then moving on to our backs. We'll do a little breathing as we move the spine. So if you have a sturdy chair handy, this is the time for that. Come to lie on your back on the floor and move the heels onto the chair, supporting the legs. Use the hands to feel the belly fill with air. So inhale, fill the belly. And then tuck the tail underneath and press into the heels to lift the hips using the hamstrings and the glutes. Exhale as the hips lift. Inhale at the top, fill the belly again. And exhale, release the back and spine down to the floor, starting from the top, coming to the bottom. We'll do three more. Inhale, feel the belly fill all around the middle as you inhale. Tuck the tail, round the back into the floor, and then press into the heels, lift the hips. At the top, inhale again. And as you exhale, lower the spine back to the floor again. This time, reach up with the arms. Reach away from the body. Inhale, fill the belly. Round the back as you tuck the tail and press into the heels. And then inhale again. Exhale, lower the spine onto the floor. Last time, reach, inhale, fill the belly. As you exhale, round the back into the floor, tuck the tail and press into the heels to lift the hips. And then inhale again as you reach. Exhale, lower the back onto the floor and release. Allow the arms to open into a T position and move the knees onto the floor. You can 
pull the legs in place as you bring the arm over, reach forward. Inhale with the thumb, draw an arc over the head, opening the shoulders into a twist. As you exhale, draw the arc back the other way. Inhale again, draw over the head. Open out so both shoulder blades are coming near the floor and exhale, coming back. Then inhale, opening onto the back and move to the other side. <laughs> inhale, allow the arm to come over the head. So now you're lying on your right side. Opening out, exhale, return the arms. Inhale, draw the circle over the head on the floor, opening the shoulders onto the floor, and exhale, coming back. All right, then now we'll move to some standing forms. And as we do this, we're coming to the sun salutation. If you have blocks available, this would be the time to get those. So coming to standing, on your mat. The mat helps hold feet in place so we don't have slipping and sliding. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold at the hip. The arms float down, fold forward, release to gravity. And then inhale, press the big toes. Inhale, arms float out and up. Look up at the thumb. Exhale. Arms down, hands together in front of the heart. Inhale and exhale. At this time, step the feet wide and open the arms out into T position. So the ankles are approximately under the wrists. From here, we'll turn the toes to the left. I'm mirroring you and adjust the back foot so it's angling in slightly. The torso is facing the long side of the mat. The knee is over or behind the ankle, not in front, like this. Look out over the arm, inhale, and then pivot, coming to a lunge. So the hands are on either side of the front foot. You're on your toes and back. Nice straight leg. And if you have blocks, this is a handy way to get a nice long spine, reaching through the crown of the head. So from here, from the lunge, we'll move the hands to the mat and step the foot back to come to downward facing dog. Long spine, the arms are by the ears. From here, you can inhale forward into a plank form, or you can lower the knees to table. Either is fine and useful. To begin, maybe you want to start with the knees lowered. Inhale, as you exhale, keep the elbows in and lower the chest to the mat. Reach back with the feet tops of the feet on the mat. And as you inhale, slide the elbows forward under the shoulders, coming to what we call the Sphinx form. The forearms are parallel, the legs are strong, and the crown of the head is reaching forward from the neck to the top of the opposite wall. Keep the throat and neck relaxed. And use this form to let the belly breathe, the legs strengthen and open the front of the body if you've been sitting for a long period of time. Inhale, let the elbows pull back. Draw the hands under the shoulders, turn the toes under. And again, the hips should lift first and activate the arms and shoulders. Push the torso up and then move to downward facing dog. From here, stepping back to the lunge, lift the left foot. If it doesn't come all the way forward, you can carry it forward to the lunge. 
Roll the back heel down, reach with the right arm, and come to warrior two. Palms roll open. Bring the feet parallel as the arms reach overhead and we'll go to the other side. So, warrior two on the second side. Toes face the short end of the mat in front and the foot angles in and back. From here, we'll pivot to the lunge. And again, if you have a pair of blocks, you can get some nice height with the shoulder and a nice long line from the heel to the crown of the head. Bring the hands to the mat and step the front foot back, downward facing dog. From here, coming forward, inhaling forward into plank or table with the elbows in, exhale, moving the chest to the mat first, and then reach back with the tops of the feet. You can have the fingertips on the mat and inhale to lift shoulders, neck, head into a cobra form. We don't want to crank the back. Just want to keep reaching the back long. Breathe, let the belly move. And then press the palms down, turn the toes under. And again, you can come back through table with the knees down, or you can move more directly into downward facing dog. From here, we step forward with the same foot that was in back. So, stepping forward again with the right foot, lower the back heel, inhale, coming to warrior two. Inhale, arms up, feet parallel. So that's the basic sequence getting from standing down to the mat, downward facing dog. And as we move from right to left and left back to right, we move the body between opposites and the mind as well. And that allows us to find a calm center. So now that we're here, Let's do a couple of basic standing poses to release energy from the center of the body and let it flow out. Keeping excess energy in the center can lead to less health and less good sleep at night. So let's release it so we can feel calmly ready for bed when that time comes. Inhale, open to warrior two. The knee is over the ankle. From here, fill. As you exhale, bring the front arm down with the palm up and float the right arm up and over by the ear into a side angle, Parsvakonasana. From side angle, fill, feel the ribs open, and then press back to warrior two, and then press the feet to straighten the front leg and exhale forward and down until the hand finds the leg. Triangle, Trikonasana. And then inhaling back to warrior two. We'll come up, bringing the feet parallel, arms overhead, and open to the other side, warrior two. Moving to side angle. Right arm comes down, strong on on the right, long on the left. Top side gets longer as the breath and energy from the lower side fill it. Keep breathing and lengthening, opening the ribs, which opens the spine. Inhaling back to warrior two. Then inhale again, straightening the front leg. And as you exhale, come forward and down. Trikonasana. Pressing into the front big toe. Feel the spine lengthen, feel the breath move in the belly. Inhale back to warrior two. And then we'll bring the feet parallel. Move back to the first side. And as you pivot, come back to the lunge. From here, lower the back knee. 
and come to balancing. And you can bring the top of the foot to the mat. As you exhale, release the hips to come forward and raise the arm on the same side as the back leg, opening the right side fully. Reach for the ceiling, feel the openness, then lower the right hand, push the feet, and back up you go. Come back to the lunge. Lower the back heel. Come up. Warrior two. Feet come parallel. Open out to warrior two on the other side. Pivot to the lunge. Lower the back knee. And the top of the foot comes to the mat. And come to balancing on this side. When you feel steady, you can release the hips to come forward. And then inhale the left arm up as the left leg extends back. The deep muscle across the front of the hip called the psoas, lengthening, opening, releasing tension from the deep belly. And then lower the hand, press the feet to come back and return to the lunge. Lower the back heel, follow the left arm as you press the feet, coming back to warrior two. Inhale, feet come parallel, arms go up. Exhale, arms float down. And you can heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Back to center, Tadasana, the mountain form. Feet about hip width apart. Take a moment to feel all the effects of what we've just done. We've moved all the major muscle groups and major joints. And if there was a problem, we would have found it. We see, we've used some strength and we've balanced. So from here, we'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, bending the knees, hips, ankles as we come down. Balancing. And then move the hands onto the floor, lower the knees. From here, we'll move on to the back. Take that to the side. Come to lying on the back, and if you have a block or a towel, we'll use that to press the feet, lift the hips, and slide it under the solid bony part of the sacrum at the base of the spine, not the flexible part. We want a solid foundation for the block. Then roll the shoulders underneath so that the palms roll open toward the ceiling. This is called a bridge pose with support, so a supported bridge pose. Block under hips. And then just feel what there is to feel. If you feel stable and steady, you can fold the legs in and extend them up. And this is a partial inversion allowing fluid to flow from the low body and the lymph fluid coming back into the immune system, supports rest for the heart, and prompts the immune system to do what it needs to do to heal. And you can exhale the legs into a wide angle. Fold the knees to bring the soles of the feet together. And inhale the legs up straight again. Bend the knee, release the left foot down to the mat. Bend the right knee, release the right foot to the mat. Press the feet, lift the hips, remove the support. And if it's useful, take a couple of breaths with the hips lifted. And when you're ready to come down, fill with air, then tuck the tail as we did earlier. Roll the spine from the top of the spine keeping all the length you can as you release the air, slowly release the spine onto the mat with arms in T position and the feet wide to the edges of the mat. Exhale, release the knees to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale, release the knees to the other side. Inhale to center. One more time each side. Exhaling, knees go to the side. Inhaling, they return to center. 
and then draw the legs in for a hug. Roll to release any remaining tension in the muscles along the spine. And if you want to, you can slide the hands along the legs to the outsides of the feet. Knees come into the armpits. Happy baby. Rolling around. And then release the legs. If you have a chair or something handy on which to rest the legs, that is the best way to relieve the back of tension. So resting the legs on the chair, steady, and then taking a hand towel with hands at the edges, just place the towel over the eyes to bring darkness and relaxation and calm to the mind. The palms roll open toward the ceiling and just begin to feel what there is to feel. Allowing the body to release to the support of the mat with each exhalation. Count the breath, count the exhalations back from five to one. Like this, five, exhale, abdomen releasing. Four, exhale, abdomen releasing. And between the exhalations, inhale quietly and gently, almost imperceptibly. If you reach one or lose count, begin again at five. Counting exhalations backwards, a wonderful way to invite deep release into the body and mind. And at some point, a long, smooth exhalation allows you to release counting. Stay with a long, smooth exhalation, allowing it to draw you into deep relaxation. And now, release yourself for the full benefits of integrating your experience, connecting mind, body, and breath. Drop into the quiet, peaceful center and rest. Namaste.